All right, so Brother in Arms Hells Highway beat out Medal of Honor Warfighter by just one single vote. So you can't ever say that one vote never really matters because it definitely did in this case. So what's going to happen here is when I get done with this, then I will go ahead and I will play Medal of Honor Warfighter, and then I will get to Battlefield 3. So your guys' votes did matter. So I'm going to be playing this on Veteran. I haven't played this for, like, years since it was back on the Xbox, but I like it. Previously in Brothers in Arms. Before he died, my dad told me every soldier has two families. Those you raise. And those you raise hell with. I never asked to be squad leader. Baker! Stand in the door! But I had no choice. I can't remember the last time my dreams weren't about everything that happened in Normandy. When it was good. So you're saying I couldn't hawk this in England? Alan, it says to Matthew on the side. So? There's probably loads of Matthews in England. Matthews who want a gaudy silver pistol. Let me see it. Holy hell, this gun weighs a ton. You could put a hole in Superman with this. Nothing could put a hole in Superman. That thing could. Dreams I can't forget. Be Be Baker! I'm so sorry. Legged? What happened? The truth tore him apart. You want me? But he kept it to the end of the mission. Take me! And to the end of his life. There were heroes born. We wait for the smoke to build! If it screams, shoot it! If it screams in German, shoot it again! There were things that happened after our victory in Normandy. There were things that happened way before. Mom said I can't keep this. Sorry, Dad. So much had happened. Keep up the fire, and we don't die here! So much had happened. You think you'll get all the credit again? <laughs> Definitely. Anybody get hit on the line? What do you know about Leggett? Yes. No. No one got hit. Damn miracle. So much had happened, and we were just getting started. All right, so that kind of goes over some of the stuff that happened previously in, like, other games. I haven't played them yet, so this is all new to me. Get out, okay? Yeah. Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> Liar.
He's gone. Matt, he's gone. We have to go. Look at me. Uh, sure. No. Alright, so one thing about this game Let's is it's uh, story-driven. So, there's gonna be a lot of cutscenes and stuff like that, which makes... I don't know, I think this really enhances the game, because I don't like games that don't have Just too much of a story it. behind it. Move. So... Oh, whoa. Well, this is not a great way to start things off. Now, since I haven't played this on the PC, I was like, yeah, I gotta go with training. But I did play a little bit right before this here, just kind of getting the controls all together. Because it is a little bit different than the standard, like, keyboard setup. You know, shift is to sprint and stuff Shit, like that. Wasn't across. the case. Get down. So, oop. All right, so one of the big parts of this game is concealment. I can't see a damn thing. Can you take and a look and see what's shooting on? from cover. Shoot him, Matt. Shoot him now. Got him. Okay, so suppression is also huge because when you can suppress an enemy, then you can go ahead and, of course, flank him and, well can't really, uh, realistically, I should say, win a battle or just fire. a small skirmish, you know, just two on one like that. So, all right, well, seems like red's going around the side. Oh, all right, flanking mastered in this game. So this follows the uh, 101st Airborne, the 502nd uh, Regiment in Operation Market Garden. And if you guys remember here from the third mission in, ooh, that was close. In uh, Medal of Honor Airborne, Operation Market Garden's like uh, an engagement that's like kind of near and dear to my heart because that's what started my love for military history. So, this whole game is about just Operation Market Garden. So, I'll be in like in Eindhoven and you know, all these places around it here, too. All right, so, got him. You can tell that the action's a lot slower in this one. I mean, well, I shouldn't say slower, but since it is more realistic, I should say, than Medal of Honor Airborne, you're not engaging, like, so many people at just one time. Totally all right with that. Oh, man. Felt like I should have shot him to put him out of his misery. But I guess in the grand scheme of things, really didn't matter. Oh. Lights went out. Okay. There goes the lights. That's all right. The whole city. We're still good. God, Matt, all those people. Yeah, Eindhoven is being bombed right now, so that's why he's like, all those people. Okay. So I'm going to use the wall for cover here to be able to take these guys out if things go bad. Oh, got him. All right, so that's like a new thing here to this game. Apparently from previous uh, versions of Brother in Arms, you have like that action cam. You shoot somebody in, in the head while they're like behind cover. So they're not uh, not shooting back at you. There we go. Accuracy is huge in this game. Whoa, hello. All right. Um... Am I going to be able to move on these guys? I think I might have to do this from a distance here. I got one. Ah, sweet. Red got the other one. I think we're clear. Now we push forward. So, this was a ton of fun to play. Whoa. Okay. I know I can destroy wood. Uh, I didn't do a live commentary on this one, so I'm going back and I'm doing the recording while I play it, but that's okay.
All right. Kind of an interesting way to start this game. Kind of makes you ask some questions and want to play the game a little bit more to find out some of the answers on what's going on and things like that. But All right, so we'll keep going through the tutorial here, which we'll show after this. What is it that makes a great soldier? Is it his brain or his heart? My dad asked me that question at the age of seven when I was at the breakfast table. I remember it vividly because he never told me the goddamn answer. He was the smartest man I ever knew, but I always felt like a bastard when I was around him. I didn't look 18. You don't. I know, yeah. Hey, you think you could talk to Corian for me? Sam, what for? He seems to have it in for me. We'll see what I can do, Frank. Don't worry about it. You paid that yourself, Beans? Don't call me Beans. So, you're saying you don't know bollocks about the pistol? Nothing to tell, Doss. Just a bunch of crap the guy's made of. Would you hold it? People died there, man. Don't go digging where there's already holes. You didn't answer my question, Cortland. Hey, Corian, are we still in the range at 1300? Uh, yeah, I'll talk to you in a minute, Jack. He's too young. <laughs> it's a bit of a gray area, Sam. But he's a standout if I've ever seen one. Excellent shot. The kid hit a quarter at 50 yards. A quarter. But he has no combat experience at all. Everybody got replacements. But we got a good one. Okay, I'll vouch for Frankie personally. I hope you're right. I need you to find some paint, Jess. Sure. I'll steal some paint for you, Sergeant. Requisition. Private. What are we painting? We're the tip of the spear, Jess. We need to look sharp when we go in. We'll cope! Why would you say that? He's right there! Stand back, Mussolini. Ain't nobody talking to you. I swear to God, Paddock, I've had it with that shit! What the hell is going on in here? Well, Paddock said some stuff that made him sound like a real dick. I see one goddamn bruise on any of you. It'll be KP and latrines for a week. I know this is getting frustrating. I know we all want to jump to it. Just know it ain't that simple. Maybe it should be. Maybe you should bring that up with General Montgomery. Got it, Ben? Plan's the same, guys. We punch through the German line, punch straight into Berlin, punch Hitler in the face, win the war, and be home by Christmas. Hey, Paddock. What you want, small fry? Here's the thought. If you're gonna cheat, make sure you don't use two queen of spades. Oh, you son of a bitch, Paddock. Hey, Jazz! Yeah, Red? You get that pain I asked for? We'll go! Is Max still trailing around with Cole? Well, he made a first sergeant. Anyone else a little weirded out by that? It's like seeing your old boss or something. Corland, Matt kept us alive through shit no one should live through. We owe him a lot. You don't want to know what I had to do to get You this. sure this is okay, Red? Well, we all picked radio call signs. This will help us keep the jeep straight. And crush the Germans with our scary zoo animals. Scheiße! Ein Zebra! The zebra is a fierce Hey, animal. swordfishes are plenty tough. This one time, my friend Nathan got speared through his hand with its... Is it a beak? Wait, what was the other one? Toucan. Hey, well, peck your damn eyes out, man. All right, all right. Guys, I don't do speeches. That was always Max thing, but... But tomorrow, we're heading into Holland and opening up a goddamn highway. So hit the mess and then get some sleep. It'll be the last we get of either for a long damn while.
All right, so that's going to be it here for this episode. Like I said, a lot of questions about what we're going to be seeing later on, so make sure you guys check out the next videos here of this series. Just kind of get those questions answered. And honestly, this game's a lot of fun. So thanks again, you guys, for watching. I appreciate it. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one.